All right, everyone, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Um, and uh, this is the kitchen. It's my sister's kitchen, and uh, she asked me to put a dishwasher in this kitchen. Um, but as you can see, there's actually no way to put a dishwasher because this kitchen never came with a dishwasher. And the space between both sides here are 18 inches to the sink. And there's no way to run one here because in here we have this thing. So it's not really possible. It's basically a mirror version on both sides. And can't really put a dishwasher here, as you can see in this area. So um, this was a kitchen that was done by a contractor about two years ago, and everything's still pretty good shape. So uh, what I decided to do was I decided to put the dishwasher over here. And as you can see, this is pretty far from the sink, but uh, I'm going to explain how this works. Um, I basically used some, some wood here just to kind of match the cabinets down here. And I, I wanted this, this area um, down here to be cleanable. So you, this, if once you open up this dishwasher, you can actually clean the bottom here. And I, I just wanted some extra space so that you, you could actually clean it. You can see I can open that and that actually work. Um, and I, it just looks better with that front cover. So. Um, I try to match the butcher block um, countertop here uh, with this butcher block that I got from Lowe's. Uh, it's a couple coats of polyurethane um, rounding out the edges. You can't really tell, um, so it's pretty, um, pretty flush there. And I decided to mount in the back. So there's two pieces of wood here um, on both sides uh, that come off um, when, you, you can, when you take this off. When you take this butcher block off, this comes off and slides forward. And um, you can take those two pieces on the corner off and uh, there's two, two bolts, and it's bolted to the back, um, not actually the front, because that way it would be flush, or flush as it can be. Then um, what I did was I drilled a hole in the back for, in this laundry area, I drilled a two and a half inch hole um, out the laundry area, and I ran it up here, I ran the hoses up here, supply and, and drain here, and um, this, this came, this piece over here came with the, um, this piece, it came, it came with the, the kit. And um, I just got these two pieces with the three quarter uh, MIP fitting to, to dual FIP. Um, and then this was the half to three eighths. So it's going to be the three, three quarters to one half uh, fitting right here. And these were two separate pieces. And I ran it like that. Um, for the supply and then for the drain I did this tailpiece this dishwasher tailpiece just plugged straight into here it took took a little force because this was this was pretty bad um, This wasn't cut very straight So I ended up just pushing this into here and connecting the drain to here and then the washer drain would connect here and Then the power cord just goes into here straight back as you can see and it looks pretty good and um that was my project for the last couple days before Christmas. So uh, the next one we're going to do here is we're actually going to um, put a tile up here, similar to this tile. Um, actually, it's going to be the same exact tile, uh, whatever, but similar. It's the exact same tile. And we're just going to try to do it the easy way with a shelf on top. So we're going to use some tools we got from, or some materials we got from Lowe's. And uh, we're going to put a tile sheet on top here. And then we're just going to attach that and then a uh, floating shelf is gonna go on top. So that's where we're at with this project and um, the dishwasher is working and pretty much everybody is happy. So that's how it looks.